Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us uh, go through prevention guys. So in the last lecture, we discussed about the life cycle of a disaster, right? Okay. So in this lecture, we'll be going through prevention. So how you can prevent something? Like how you can prevent a disaster? Is there a way to prevent it? Yes. So basically disaster, the effect of disaster is most important guys. So occurrence might be common, but the effect like the number of deaths or the damage or the loss of the economy and all those things should be lesser so that simply you can say that that is prevention so basically if there is a cyclone or if there is a flood you cannot go and stop it right so if you you cannot take a small wall or a bucket and you can just you cannot stop it right yes so that is the reason why the prevention will is nothing but reducing the factors of death loss loss in money or the construction buildings or damage for those things and everything okay so that comes under prevention so basically prevention is also done prior only guys it is not done after the occurrence it is also done prior to the occurrence so it is a proactive process that is nothing but before so proactive process consisting of a set of control strategies to ensure that the disaster does not happen so basically here we are trying that disaster will not happen or the effects of the disaster will be less okay okay so the elements of an effective disaster prevention are the early detection and of abnormal activities. So basically whenever something bad is happening, initially everyone will be getting or some places they will be getting some kind of notifications guys. So I am not saying mobile notifications or anything, it's just some kind of information or indi indication. Okay. Okay. So that things should be considered guys. So assume that there is a wind storm that is nothing but cold waves cold waves so does the temperature of cold wave increases sorry decreases suddenly no of heat wave no so basically these things increase slowly right so these things can be identified using some kind of thermometers or any kind of humidities and everything so similarly if there is a smoke or if there is a fire accident in a place so if that particular place is having fire alarms and everything so when it started only the everything the information will be shared with the fire station and everything so that they can come and rescue everyone guys so there will be no loss right so in that way so you need to do some early detection before the of the abnormal conditions and notify the person capable of dealing with the pending crisis so basically you will be contacting the person who can solve it so basically if there is a small file alarm automatically the messages will be going to the fire stations and if there is a theft in your house like few alarm systems will be there that will be sending the notification to the nearby police stations like that there are multiple systems guys okay okay so by detecting and testing minor problems early major problems can be avoided okay so basically if there is a working underground like there is a coal mine guys assume that there is a coal mine or a gold mine assume in that way so there are multiple people who are working there okay okay so you are establishing some earthquake sensors or any kind of rock sensors or any kind of sensors which are indicating about the falling of something right so in that situation if there is an indication somewhere near it like i'm not saying exactly but some hundreds or some tens of kilometers of distance if there is an effect of some kind of issue then automatically you should evacuate these places right because there is a high chance of collapsing here so in that way you need to understand the things like one depends on another so that might be a small issue where nothing happened but this could be a huge issue right so there will be multiple people working there so that will be a huge issue right yes so some kind of sensors you might be asking like these are the sensors even they will be saying that iot devices or embedded devices they'll be saying right so these are the things guys so they will be sensing something and they'll be giving the information so that is nothing but internet of things or embedded system operations okay okay so similarly let us go through some sensors like we'll be having temperature humidity water sensor smoke sensor river so basically temperature is for you can say that heat wave or cold wave similarly humidity is for cyclones and all those things water is for floods smoke is for fire alarms and everything so fire air flow like if there are any kind of breezes and everything so ac power quality and various sensors we are having guys okay okay so actions so basically you got the information so what actions you should take so actions on disaster prevention okay so actively active activating local or remote alarms indicating a like bells or light signals okay so basically if something happens wrong you should indicate everyone right yes so assume that uh, let us take a small example so a particular prisoner has uh, just uh, ran away from the prison guys 
So automatically in movies will be saying. I also saw in the movie only. Okay, I'm just giving you an example. So once he is escaped from the prison, automatically the police has who are in the prison who are taking care of the prison. They will be starting alarms, lights, and everything. They'll be checking here and there, right? So in that way, you should. give some signals so in the the thing that they are doing is nothing but they are giving signals to others that it's an emergency situation please search for someone someone is missing like that so these things will matter a lot guys so when there is some kind of a flood or anything you should give the information through any kind of pattern so that could be by person or by network or by tv or by radio or by social media so or anywhere somehow you should give the thing that's the main thing okay so taking control affected resources isolated and cut power water and main supply okay so if there is any kind of fire accident or any kind of those things you should cut the power and you should take some more precautions right so it depends on those things okay okay so similarly interfacting with the existing security system so what went wrong you should take care of that also in future and sending signals for the desired people okay 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 so you can go to the last point guys that's nothing but normal operations and data file so basically everything should be sent for each and everyone okay okay so i hope everyone got some basic idea about prevention right okay so in the next lecture we will be going through disaster mitigation and preparedness guys so basically mitigation and preparedness we discussed right so it is nothing but taking care before it is happening okay so we'll be taking an example of an earthquake guys okay okay so let us meet in the next lecture and let us discuss thank you thanks for watching